Hello, and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. I am Zarkoon, and today I have what I think is a rather fun uh, video for you. And it's one of those battles where everything just seems to go right. Um, you have those battles sometimes, right? You know what I'm talking about. It's, it's one of those uh, situations in which the enemy team just sort of gracefully, generously, and spectacularly potatoes just right in front of you, allowing you to cut them down like annoying little weeds and causing you a minimal amount of pain or stress in the process. Um, and, oh, look at that, we've got, uh, Miyoko taking shots at us and kind of taking a couple hit points off of us, but we've got a New Orleans sailing out in front of us and committing the cardinal sin of cruisers, which is showing flat broadside to a battleship. <laughs> and he does get punished for it with two citadels. He's lucky he wasn't absolutely obliterated there. Um, but the friendly Atlanta takes him out because we left him on no health. Now we've got a wall of skill incoming, and also an incoming Nagato, who is committing the cardinal sin of battleships, which is showing your broadside to an enemy battleship. <laughs> and, uh, he gets punished for it. Um, as the mighty jingle says, uh, boys and girls, that's a paddling. Um, we are on fire twice from whatever cruiser set us on fire twice. Um, and we did take a hit from one torpedo, which caused flooding. Notice we did not burn our damage control until that torpedo hit. We were on fire twice, um, and when you're on fire twice like that, you can burn your damage control, um, in order to stop the, you know, damage that the fire is causing. But you shouldn't do it if you have a wall of torpedoes coming straight at you, uh, because those torpedoes can cause flooding, and the flooding can be rather catastrophic. So, a couple good little demonstrations of what to do and what not to do for perhaps any newer players who might uh, come across this video. Oh, look at this. This Atlanta is very upset with us for some reason. Not sure why, uh, but he is firing at us. Perhaps he is upset that we took the enemy New Orleans down to almost no health and opened up the opportunity for him to uh, clinch the kill there. Perhaps he wanted uh, the damage for himself, but we got it. Um, we are up to 98,000 or 93,000, sorry, damage, and we've only taken shots at two ships. <laughs> and we're not even five minutes into the match. We're about three minutes into the match, so... Um, I mean, that's it's quite nice. And since the enemy has mostly been cleared from this area, we are pushing forward. I am, along with a friendly Gneisenau and a friendly Destroyer, um... Or is it the Atlanta? No, and the friendly Atlanta, sorry. Um, and now we're going to try and get a shot between these mountains at a ship. We cannot hit the Miyoko. If we could, we would probably delete him at this kind of range. But it looks like we can hit the Atago, who cannot see us. We can see him still. Um, and he is turning to give more of a broadside. Um, this time, let's see if we can... Yep, we do hit him for a single citadel. And now we've got a Sharnhorst coming around the corner. We are unlikely to hit him for a citadel. And speaking of citadels, we're at six right now, which is, uh, in my opinion, unusually high for a battleship. Um, we do take a shot at the Sharnhorst. We punch right through uh, probably his frontal armor there. I'm not sure what we did, if we hit him through the superstructure or what, but we hit him for 10,000 damage. And he is under fire from 
it looks like two, possibly three other friendly ships, so he's about to go. Uh, this next shot of ours hits him in just the right place to finish him off. And uh, now the way to the enemy base is clear. The Atlanta is very upset with us for, I don't know what, for killing the Sharnhorst. Um, he launches into a foul-mouthed tirade of by thunder, um, Neptune's beard, all that. And he's still firing at us. Uh, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. I can't make heads or tail of it. Um, but I don't care. We've still got the Attigo out there, and he appears to still be giving broadside. Uh, let's see how long it takes for his luck to run out. He is at, eh, on the further end of, you know, medium range, I suppose, but the distance is being closed. We do overpet him twice there for not a whole lot of damage, but if he continues to sail broadside, um, his luck is going to run out eventually. Now he's taking shots at me. His HE shells do cause an annoying amount of damage, and they do set me on fire, but he, again, is still giving broadside. We penetrate him for, looks like, barely any damage at all. Um, so that's not ideal, and we are still on fire, and he is taking more shots. These ones, however, are not as well aimed, and they miss, and, uh, he's still giving broadside. So, how long can you go before your luck runs out? Apparently that long. We hit him for two citadels and send him to the bottom of the sea, and we are at a total of eight citadels and 154,000 damage. Um, the Atlanta continues to rant and rave like a maniac and tell me to get back for some reason. I I considered messaging this guy after this game and asking him, you know, what the hell, <laughs> what the hell was that? I, I didn't do that though. Um, anyway, eight citadels. Uh, had we had that mission for the Weekly Havoc, which requires you to get eight citadels, um, we would have done it. But, uh, I don't know. This kind of result, I think, is unusual for a battleship. This is a lot of citadels. You usually don't see these kind of numbers unless you're in a cruiser. Um, but, you know, the enemy team just, they didn't make it very hard for us, which, which is always nice. Now we're wrapping up the battle here, only a couple more seconds left on the clock before we cap the enemy base and win the whole thing. Uh, so I think I'll just skip to the end here. So hopefully you liked the video, if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and consider subscribing to my channel. I've got a lot of World of Warships content coming all the time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.